Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FripGages.com. Today I'm going to show you my digital clock gauge. It's uh, quite similar to the analog one, except obviously it's got digital displays, but the functionality is quite similar. So let's cover the buttons first. So S1 is used to toggle between the clock and timer. And if we click that now, you can see it's switched over to timer. And again, it's reduced back to the clock. Now S2 is used to select simulation time, so it takes the time from the simulator. S3 will switch it back to the time generated by the PC. S4 will select GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, or S5 will select the local time. And S6 will change the backlight colour, and there's five different variants between orange, green, white, LCD, blue, and back to orange. So let's switch back to the timer mode. And when you select the timer, you'll notice that the button at the bottom changes from backlight to a, a reset. So it sets the timer to zero. Now if I hit at a six, the timer will start ticking away from zero. And you press it again, it will reset to zero. Now, unfortunately, there's no stop and start um, because that's limitation of the time um, that I get from the um, simulators and stuff. So unfortunately, I can't stop the clock because it's constantly running. So all I can do is set the start point. Um, and because we can do that, it now means that I can use the left dial to fast forward and rewind the time. So if you want to set the timer to start at two hours, you can move that forward to two. There we go. And now your timer starting at two hours. So you can change the timer. You just can't stop the clock ticking. OK, so I'm going to reset that back to zero. And there we go. OK, so let's now cover the menu so the menu is controlled by the right dial and the blue led tells you where the nearest hardware control is so we'll activate the menu by turning the right dial and the first option is a version and information now when you turn the left dial it will bring up the version page it will show you the current gauge version and some information about the gauge and also where you can access the manual okay and left dial to turn that off now right dial next option in the menu is side buttons now the left dial will turn the side buttons on and off there's a separate tutorial for side buttons so please check that out but this function will turn the side buttons on and off next option is the time source now basically this replicates the s keys so if you decided to turn on the side buttons and then reprogram these keys you can still change the time source in the menu and not have to worry about the buttons down the side so the time source basically will switch between sim and pc we we'll move along now to time zone and that will toggle gmt and local and the clock and timer once again you can switch between the clock and the timer here as well so spin left it goes to timer sorry clock and spin right goes to the timer next option is the backlight so you can control the color as well from the menu and the optional glass reflections you can turn on and off and you have the color control as well for the background uh, as in all my gauges, there's four different color variants. I prefer that one. Okay, so that pretty much covers the uh, the clock. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out our others coming soon. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you.